हेलो स्टूडेंट्स होप यू आर वेल एंड सेफ एट होम वेलकम बैक टू ऑनलाइन क्लास टुडे आई विल टीच यू द फिफ्थ चैप्टर ऑफ ज्योग्राफी ऑफ क्लास सेवन दैट इज एटमोसफियर इन दिस चैप्टर यू आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अबाउट द एटमोसफियर द कंपोजिशन ऑफ एटमोसफियर सिग्निफिकेंस ऑफ द एटमोसफियर एंड स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ द एटमोसफियर सो Let us begin the chapter. What is atmosphere? The atmosphere is a mixture of gases that surrounds the planet and makes conditions on earth suitable for living things. All life on earth depends on the gases that are in the atmosphere. Our planet Earth is surrounded by a thick blanket of air held by its gravitational force. We call this its atmosphere. Though some other planets also have atmosphere, the Earth's atmosphere is unique as it contains gases with life-sustaining properties. For instance, the oxygen present in the atmosphere is essential for the survival of all living organisms. The Earth's atmosphere is positioned between the Earth and the Sun. It acts as a sort of filter for the rays of the sun that reach us thus making life possible on earth Now let us see the composition of air The atmosphere contains a number of gases comprising nitrogen oxygen and certain other gases in smaller proportions such as argon carbon dioxide neon helium krypton xenon hydrogen and ozone a substantial amount of water vapor is also found in the atmosphere through evaporation of water in the oceans lakes and rivers its quantity varies due to the phenomena of evaporation and condensation the atmosphere of the earth also contains particles of dust dirt salt plant pollen bacteria and even soot from fires up to about 80 km from the earth surface the composition of atmosphere remains the same but about this the levels of oxygen and nitrogen decrease above 800 km the atmosphere mainly comprises light gases like hydrogen and helium now let us see how atmosphere is important for living beings so let us see significance of the atmosphere oxygen is one of the most important components of the atmosphere which helps to sustain life on earth as well as aids in combustion of fuel nitrogen is crucial and necessary for the growth of plants it is also used to produce various compounds which are useful to man in a variety of ways Carbon dioxide is absorbed by plants which use it to make food through the process of photosynthesis. Moreover, it also controls the earth's temperature by absorbing the heat radiated from the sun and keeps the earth warm which is referred to as the greenhouse effect. What is greenhouse effect? The greenhouse effect is natural process that warms the earth's surface. When the sun's energy reaches the earth's atmosphere some of it is reflected back to space and the rest is absorbed and re-radiated by greenhouse gases The greenhouse is the process by which radiation from a planet's atmosphere warms the planet's surface to a temperature above what it would be without this atmosphere Ozone a gas which is present in a small proportion in the upper atmosphere absorbs most of the harmful ultraviolet radiation of the sun thus protecting and shielding life on the earth water vapor helps to keep the earth warm and also sustains life through the hydrological cycle the dust particles which are present in the lower atmosphere act as condensation nuclei around which the evaporated moisture in the air condenses 
leading to cloud formation thus it plays an important role in causing precipitation the atmosphere acts as a protective shield guarding the earth against falling meteorites the most burn out when they enter the atmosphere sound waves are able to travel due to the presence of air hence we are able to hear each other so students you can see how atmosphere is important in our life now let us see structure of the atmosphere the atmosphere has been divided into five layers they are troposphere stratosphere mesosphere thermosphere and exosphere so let us see each layer one by one troposphere the layer closest to the earth the troposphere is a region of rising and falling air extending up to a height of 13 km at the equator and 8 km at the poles a mixture of various gases in different proportions the troposphere is the layer of air closest to the ground in which all life forms thrive all weather and climate changes like fog rainfall lightning cloud formations snowfall thunder storms etc also take place in this layer the troposphere is the densest layer of the atmosphere in which 75% of atmospheric mass is concentrated and the air pressure drops with increasing altitude the temperature in this layer drops uniformly at the rate of 1 degree celsius for every 165 meter of altitude which is known as the normal lapse rate it absorbs the maximum amount of heat radiated from the surface of the earth and keeps the earth warm at night the tropopause acts as the boundary separating the troposphere from the stratosphere where in the temperature stops decreasing greenhouse gas can be emitted through vehicles the production and consumption of food fuels manufactured goods materials wood roads buildings etc it is important that we use our resources in a sensible manner so as to save for the future development of alternative sources of energy like solar or wind energy and reforestation are the keys to reduce carbon footprints now let us see the next layer that is stratosphere the stratosphere is the region of horizontal and stable air flow which extends above the troposphere to about 50 km above the surface of the earth the absence of convection currents make the condition stable and ideal for flying jet planes the presence of ozone layer in the upper stratosphere protect us from the lethal effects of ultraviolet radiation of the sun the ultraviolet rays can cause sunburns various skin diseases and even cancer This layer is also free from all types of weather phenomena as there is very little water vapor dust and almost no clouds in the lower part of the stratosphere up to an altitude of 20 km the temperature remains fairly constant while in the upper part there is an increase in the temperature due to increased absorption of ultraviolet radiation by the ozone layer the next layer is the mesosphere the mesosphere lies between the stratosphere and extends from the stratopause up to an altitude of 80 km above the earth surface the temperature decreases with a rise in altitude in the layer to reach around Minus hundred degrees Celsius at the mesopause, that is the boundary between the mesosphere and the thermosphere. Due to the low temperature, water vapor present in this layer is frozen, forming ice clouds. The mesosphere is also the protective layer 
वेयर इन मोस्ट मीटियोराइट्स बर्न आउट ड्यू टू फ्रिक्शन विद द एटमोस्फेयर नाउ द नेक्स्ट लेयर इज द थर्मोस्फेयर अबाउ द मेसोस्फेयर एंड बिलो द एक्सोस्फेयर देयर इज अ लेयर दैट एक्सटेंड अप टू 400 किलोमीटर अबाउ द सरफेस ऑफ द अर्थ द लोअर लेयर ऑफ दिस लेयर इज ऑल्सो नोन एज द आइनोस्फेयर ड्यू टू मैक्सिमम कॉन्सेंट्रेशन ऑफ द electrically charged particles known as ions which reflect radio waves back to the earth enabling wireless communication the temperature in this layer increases with rising altitude especially in lower part due to rise in solar activity between the thermosphere and the exosphere lies the thermopause the upper boundary of this layer the last layer of the atmosphere is the exosphere the uppermost layer of the atmosphere called the exosphere stretches from the ionosphere upwards to 1600 km and gradually merges into space this layer is extremely rarefied and is the region where atoms and molecules escape into space as the air molecules are negligible it is the thinnest layer of the atmosphere and only hydrogen and helium are predominant in this layer so this was all about the chapter atmosphere i hope you have understood the chapter students atmosphere is very important in our daily life so here is a, a small video related to your chapter atmosphere you will understand more about atmosphere from this video so have a look and enjoy the video thank you stay home stay safe